A very good evening and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab al -Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call today with His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of discovering the biggest uh, tight oil field over in the history of Bahrain. His Majesty the King thanked Allah the Almighty for blessing Bahrain and its people with this field, wishing the Bahraini people constant welfare. He thanked His Royal Highness the Premier and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the head of the High Committee of Natural Resources and Economic Security, as well as members of the committee and the officials in charge of the oil sector for the good results, which will further contribute to promoting the welfare of the Bahraini people. His Majesty the King lauded the efforts of the High Committee of Natural Resources and Economic Security under the chairmanship of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for carrying out the royal directives of giving utmost priority to oil exploration, mapping out detailed plans for that and following up on their implementation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the discovery of a large quantities of new tight oil and deep cast resources. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the new discovery, which His Royal Highness said would boost the march of developments and prosperity led by His Majesty the King and have a positive impact on the quality of services which ensures citizens the decent living standards they aspire to. His Royal Highness hailed the energy discovery, which he described as a defining moment for the government to fast-track development and step up the march of modernization. He said that the government uh, had been directed to cooperate with leading world companies to step up efforts and optimize the benefits from the new discovery. He commended the efforts of the High Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in which he commended his dedicated efforts and keen follow-up of all projects, hailing the government's achievements. His Majesty stressed the crucial importance of the new oil and gas discovery for Bahrain's development and people's welfare. His Majesty the King said the new discovery is the fruit of sustained work and national endeavor emanating from commitment to high national interest, keenness on pursuing comprehensive development and meeting citizens' needs in all fields. His Majesty commended the strenuous efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, which yielded this landmark national achievement whose windfall will benefit Bahrain and the people. His Majesty the King reiterated greetings to His Royal Highness the Premier, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant health and well-being. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of discovering the largest oil field in the history of the kingdom. His Royal Highness said that the landmark oil and gas finds herald a new chapter in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, reminiscent of the historic discovery of the first oil well in Bahrain and the approach of late His Majesty Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed the march of dedication, development and progress led by His Majesty the King, noting Bahrain's landmark strides in the prosperous era to meet the aspirations of the homeland and its loyal people. He pledged to pursue a strenuous efforts supported by loyal citizens to ensure a better tomorrow and achieve further development and prosperity. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty abundant health, happiness and success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and the ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, marking the victory of the horse Thunder Snow of UAE Godlofin to the 23rd Dubai World Horse Cup. The event is considered an important one on the international level as the world's finest horse riders participate in the cup, which was held at the racing field in the Nadal Sheba area of Dubai yesterday. 
yesterday. His Majesty the King expressed his sincere congratulations on the occasion, asserting that this great achievement, which will remain immortal in, equestrian, in equestrian history, would not have been achieved without the work efforts and proper planning at all stages of the race. His Majesty also noted that the UAE and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid have a long history in this field. His Majesty the King wished His Highness and the people of the UAE for the progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of discovering the biggest oil field ever in the history of Bahrain. His Royal Highness extended sincere congratulations on the discovery of the largest oil field in the history of the Kingdom of Bahrain during the reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to be an extension of the comprehensive development process under His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to help Bahrain towards a bright and prosperous future. His Royal Highness also prayed to Allah Almighty to bless him with abundant health and well-being to continue good deeds under the blessed march led by His Majesty the King. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister thanked His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on his good feelings, hailing Bahrain's landmark developments, strides which he said represent the fruit of dedicated efforts, paying tribute to loyal citizens for standing united with the leadership. He said that the landmark achievement would contribute to achieving further progress and prosperity, stressing the cooperation of government departments with leading international companies and the strenuous efforts of the High Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Following directives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to give maximum priority to oil exploration operations to increase the country's resources as part of the Comprehensive Development March is spearheaded by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security, chaired by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, put forward the detailed exploration plans. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and members of the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad and His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa following the discovery of the new resource which is forecast to contain highly significant quantities of tight oil that by far exceed those of Bahrain fields in addition to the discovery of large quantities of deep gas. The new oil field discovered during His Majesty King Hamad's prosperous era has been the first since 1932 when the first oil field was inaugurated in Bahrain during the era of the late Azana Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and since then the oil resources have been devoted to enhancing Bahrain's development process. Following the issuance of the Royal Directive to intensify the exploration activities, the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security requested the National Oil and Gas Authority in Noga and national oil companies to use the best available excavation technology which resulted in the excavation of a number of oil fields over the past period in cooperation with world companies. The new field will increase Bahrain's competitive potentials and enable it to carry on implementing its development projects and initiatives, as well as honoring its commitments to friendly countries and global financial markets. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince gave directives to Noga to determine the feasibility of extractable quantities from this new field and to develop plans for its development over time, taking into account the geological nature of the site and the production costs to ensure that it is a contribute that it contributes to the kingdom's natural resources and development march. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dhabiya Palace a number of senior officials, intellectuals, media personnel and citizens. His Royal Highness affirmed that failure is the outcome of all who threaten the strength and unity of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness went on to assert that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the awareness of the people towards their natural responsibilities will remain cohesive, adding that Bahrain will remain as an oasis of security and stability. 
stability. His Royal Highness stressed that the leadership supports all that which unifies the people, which will lead towards further developments and achievements. His Royal Highness Prime Minister hailed the role of clergy and media men in spreading awareness through society on the importance of preserving security. His Royal Highness lauded the noble stances of the people of Bahrain that faced the futile attempts of spreading hatred, highlighting that such stances embodied the highest forms of patriotism and allegiance to His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qutaybiya Palace a delegation from a Salhiya village who expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his directives to follow up on the housing needs of village residents. His Royal Highness affirmed that citizens' needs is the ultimate priority, expressing the keenness of the government on providing all services to citizens. His Royal Highness directed the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and the Minister of Housing to inspect poor-conditioned houses
and Al Salhiya and to meet low income families and fulfill their needs. Israel Han has stressed that all developmental projects in the cities and villages of the kingdom aim to provide comfort for citizens on all levels. He added that the government will continue to achieve the aspirations of the citizens in various areas of the kingdom and that all energies and potential and potentialities are directed to the cities and villages in Bahrain. The Prime Minister listened to the infrastructure development and housing needs of Al residents. He stated that meeting the needs of citizens is the duty and responsibility of the government and that efforts will be exerted to achieve prosperity and growth for the kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the progress achieved in the development fields of providing the requirements of citizens, especially in the field of housing. For their part, the residents of Al village expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the model he provides in communicating with citizens and identifying their needs, hailing the openness policy of His Royal Highness and his support to all citizens. They also commended the efforts of establishing the foundations of development in the kingdom. They stated that His Royal Highness's directives of following up on the needs of villages in the housing sector embodies the approach of His Royal Highness of communicating with citizens. Fatma Salman Mohammed delivered a speech on behalf of Salhiya residents and Mishal al-Malki recited a poem to His Royal Highness. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي يا صاحب السمو الملك الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقع إنه ليوم عظيم أن نتشرف بلقاء سموكم وكم كنت أتمنى هذا اللقاء وأحلم به ولكن بعد طول انتظار تحققت أمنيتي فإني سعيدة أن أراك وأن أصافحك يا نور هذا الوطن ويا مسك مملكتنا الحبيبة فالكل يتغنى بحبك ويشدو بخليفة العز وخليفة المجد وخليفة العطاء وخليفة الأمل فكلنا مع خليفة نساء رجال وأطفال وقدم لك مني باقة حب ووفاء وأختم كلماتي بدعاء بسيط يا رب يحرسك ويحفظك ويطول بعمرك ويحفظك للبحر وتعبها والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله القصيدة من بعد تاسع شهر وحيها هز الجذع ويساقط بحبها شعور صايم عن كل قصايد أو مدايح أو فخر حالف ما أفطر إلا لين أشوفك يا الجسور وصبحها أنجب قرايح والفرايد والشعر جزلة جات بمهدها جادت بأروع قصور ما سوى اسمك ينومسها على طيب الذكر من شموخك حتى ديوان الشعر كله فخور قومي يا حروف القصايد والمعاني والزهر وعتقي عود الجمايل وفرشيها بالزهور والبسي أحلى الجواهر من زمرد أو حجر وفرحي بصبحك مدام إنه أمامك في حضور هو خليفة ابن سلمان اللي باسمه نفتخر لا طوى بشته يفكك كل صعبات الأمور حتى قصرك ما ترك مسكين في حيرة وأمر مجلسك في هالمراجل تحشم اللي لك يجور يوم جانا طامع يوم جانا طامع ناوي بنية من غدر احتزمت احتزمت بشعبك وشعبك تحزم بك غيور العلاقة بينك وبين الشعب العلاقة بينك وبين الشعب كانها بحر كل ما يجزر بحرها مدها غرق بحور كل بيت 
كل شارع كل كبري كل شبر كل صبح كل ظهر وكل لحظة بالعصور كل كف كل دمعة تدعي لك طول العمر وكل رمشة وكل نبضة وكل إحساس وشعور كل أم وكل ابن وكل والد بالفجر قلبهم يدعي يحفظك يا جعل أفراحك سرور يا ذر البحرين يا في الأمن وقت الخطر يا وفى الوافين يا درع الوطن وقت النفور لليتيم لليتيم أحن من نفح المباخر والعطر وللعدو سيف مسلط ضربته تقطع نحور يا خليفة لك وسط قلب الشعب هيبة وقدر واسمك مضاوي واسمك مضاوي وغيرك ينعمي ينعمي من كل نور يا كثر حسادك اللي ما تغيره من قهر زيدهم غيره بنهضة خلدتكم للدهور بالنيابة بالنيابة عن جميع الشعب أعلنها جهر أنت درع للوطن حامي عن الديرة غيور بعض الشيوخ بعض الشيوخ اللي عطه يحس بالمدخ بالمدة خسر إلا خليفة مدته فاقت عن أموال وقصور إلا خليفة مدته فاقت عن أموال وقصور The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the, histori in the, on the historic victory of Emirati horses in the International Dubai World Cup Carnival. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the race has attracted world countries to Dubai with the attendance of over 60,000 spectators hailing the continuous follow-up of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, which contributed to the remarkable organization of the race. He noted that Sheikh Mohammed's future vision of the race and his follow-up resulted in the high status it achieved in terms of competition, organization and financial benefits. It also attracted a large number of owners and horsemen who participated in the race to gain the most renowned title in their horse racing sports. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the competitions of the late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Arabian Horse Show concluded. The President of the Arabian Horse Organization, Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, along with members of the Board of Directors of the Royal Federation of Equestrian and Endurance racing also attended the last day of the championship. Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdelaziz Al Saud crowned first place winners of the tournament which witnessed an exciting end competition between stable owners. Azana Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the presence of Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed in the championship proves the keenness of the AHO to support host show championships hailing its contributions to the success of various events and activities organized by brief. He expressed that thanks and appreciation to Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed for following up and attending the championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted that this tournament provides the right environment for stable owners to participate in such competitions, indicating that the championship preserves the heritage of Bahrain and emphasizes that the kingdom possesses unique Arabian horses. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that this competition maintained its high reputation since its launch and up until its fifth edition, as the competition witnessed a visible development developments and the offspring of the Arabian horses by their owners. His Highness also praised the hard work exerted by the Royal Equestrian Federation and Endurance Racing for their keenness to elevate the championship at the highest organizational level. His Highness extended his thanks to all the heads and members of the committees working in the championship, pointing out that this success gives us the great incentive to continue supporting the owners and stables and congratulated the winners of the first places in all categories. 
Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, and part of His Highness's fourth Ramadan sports tournament, Nasser 11, the Cowboys show was held on the sidelines of the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa Championship for the Beauty of Arabian Horses in Al Qudra Village, which hosted El Marai Festival 2018. Many of the staple owners participated in the event with a large audience of fans and horseback riding enthusiasts. The owners presented the participants with a beautiful painting throughout their performances and their horseback riders. The festival's activities included shows of authentic Arabian horses, musical ensembles, camel and silugi dogs, and the organizing committee presented illustrations and fascinating paintings of popular heritage sports that receive great support by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. First place winners were crowned. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah al-Salah, where it approved the report of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on a draft law approving Bahrain's joining the multilateral agreement between the specialized authorities on the automatic exchange of financial accounts information. The council also approved Bahrain's joining the Convention on Mutual Administrative Assistance in Tax Matters, a draft law on amending the provisions of the civil and commercial procedures law issued in decree by law 12 of 1971 has been approved. The council also approved the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee's report on a proposal amending Article 326 of the Civil and Commercial Procedures Law issued in decree by law 12 of 1971. Executive Director of Tamkeen, Dr. Ibrahim Janahi, met with members of the third batch of the first Deputy Premier National Development Programme as part of meetings organized by the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister. Dr. Ibrahim Janahi stated that the programme of the first Deputy for the development of national cadres represents a unique model in the preparations and development of young leaders and established in accordance with best practices and training. He added that this programme reflects the vision of his role. Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in stressing the importance of investing in the human elements as the real wealth. During the meeting, Tim Keen presented an overview of the program's objectives as well as the achievements made since the launching of the Tim Keen Fund in 2006 and the various programs offered to develop the private sector and enhance its position as the main driver of economic growth in the kingdom.